So here's something I saw the other day I've not seen in a long time. You know what I saw? I saw balls on a dog. <laughs> yeah, you remember that shit? Dude, I have not seen that since like the late 90s. I was literally sitting there looking like, I remember that shit. Dogs used to have balls, I remember that. Remember that, you hit your friend, eh, hey, look at his balls, you know, and everybody would laugh. No, but somewhere along the line, it became socially acceptable to cut your dog's balls off, whether there's anything wrong with them or not, under the whole fear of like, well, if we don't do it, he's gonna fuck another dog. They're gonna make more dogs, and what are we gonna do with all these dogs? We're not gonna have homes? Well, what are we gonna do? I love that shit, what are we gonna do? It's like, dude, they're animals, just let them go. They'll be fine, they got fangs, they got claws, they'll form packs, you know? They'll help with the obesity problem in this country, you know? You come stumbling out of a cheesecake factory, just like a herd of fucking Rottweiler running at you. You gotta run to your SUV, dive in Dukes of Hazard style, right? No, I'm pro dog balls. I am. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Dog should be able to, you know, fuck who he wants to and... It's, it's ridiculous. No, I want to get a dog. I want to get a dog. I've been dying to get a dog. And immediately, my girls immediately, well, we have to get it from getting a dog, we have to get him fixed. I'm like, why do we have to get him fixed? Well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't... And I'm like, well, you're not a veterinarian. She's like, well, neither are you. Great, then it's a stalemate. Neither one of us knows what the fuck we're talking about, so let's not start cutting anything off the animal, right? <laughs> so, of course, if she's a female, she's got to go out and prove me wrong. Goes out and gets a book. Okay, look at this. See, it says right here, um, you get your dog fixed, he's less likely to be aggressive. Hmm? Okay? Okay? No. Now, listen. God, you're such an asshole. Just listen. <laughs> and then it says, he's less likely to rip up the furniture. Yeah, huh? Is that thing, you know? I was just like, sweetheart, when we were a kid, we had a family dog, all right? He had his balls. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, occasionally he humped your leg, you know? But generally speaking, he just laid around, he begged for food, he came home, he was excited, but he wasn't wearing a raincoat, like, jerking off or something, you know? <laughs> he, lived, he lived for 15 years without incident with his balls, you know? No sexual harassment, nothing. <laughs> No, I, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's weird how, we're, like, human beings are trying to control the population of animals, you know? Like, any time the deer population gets out of control, some dude would literally get on TV and be like, all right, the deer population is up to about 17, 1800. Realistically, we need to get that number down to about five, six of them, all right? <laughs> so start them off, you got a gun, fucking shoot one in the face! I'm just sitting at home like, what are the deer doing that's so bad for the environment, you know? They're gonna eat all the fucking grass. They're coming up to trees, just nibbling. Just nibbling. Dude, the deer didn't put a hole in the ozone layer, all right? That's not a bunch of dogs clogging up the freeways. It's us, right? We can fuck all we want. No one's gonna stop you. Could have, you could have 15 kids, have a 16th on the way. No one's gonna get on TV and be like, all right, Paul is still fucking. <laughs> Starting them off, you got a gun, fucking shoot him in the face. Do what you gotta do, this guy, he's out of control. No, it's great. It's great, man. You can just keep banging away. You can just keep banging away, making one useless, mediocre, not gonna invent shit kid after another. <laughs> no, I don't understand people like that. So don't you realize after your third loser kid, you don't have the DNA to make somebody special? It's like, what are you doing? All you're doing, you're just making more in the way people just walking around, looking up at shit as you're trying to get down the sidewalk, you know? Oh, you know that dude, whenever you go into the deli, there's always that guy in front of you who doesn't know what he wants. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of bread is that? It's like, dude, stop making that fucking guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that dude, that dude is everywhere. No, that's why I love old people. I love old people. They always with their family photos. Cracks me up. They always, well, they're all proud. Like, well, we had five kids, and then they all had five, and da 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 da. <laughs> it's like, yeah, none of you did shit. I don't recognize anybody in that photo. You just made 30 people who are all taking a shit every day that ends up in a river. <laughs> that's not 
a family photo that's an environmental disaster and you framed it. <laughs> no, that's my solution for global warming. Everybody's talking about cars and oil. That doesn't matter. It's just too many people, you know, it's too many people doing it. Just says, you know, you want to help the environment, just stop fucking. <laughs> right? I'm not saying stop fucking, but you know, pull out. <laughs> you can still have your fun, right? But you gotta stop looking at babies like they're these cute things, all right? They're not. They are, they are cute, but most of them are just gonna grow up, they're just gonna end up being another shithead in like an SUV that doesn't pull out far enough into the intersection, right? Now you gotta wait a whole nother light to make a left, and you're just sitting there losing your shit, screaming at your windshield with this dude who didn't need to exist. It's like, there's no reason for that guy. We got that guy. I don't know. That's my plan. They should just make babies illegal for like the next like 25, 30 years, right? <laughs> That'd be great. Think about it. Somebody's born, three people are born every second to one person dying, right? So if you're not making anybody, it's like, bam, somebody just died, right? Somebody just fell down some stairs. Somebody just tripped over a skateboard, right? And you know what? Fucking lanes just opening up on the highway, right? <laughs> you know, you get to work a little sooner. You're in a better mood. Dude, you get it down to like 30,000 people. 30,000 people will be the shit. All right, Super Bowl comes around, everybody can go. Right? Everybody can go. 22, you get to play. The odds of you making it in the NFL, it's ridiculous. Dude, even if you suck, you could still, you could block on punts. You'd be like a wedge breaker, or maybe be that guy holding the first down marker, like, yeah, I'm fucking doing something. You wouldn't have to recycle. Dude, if there was 30,000 people, man, everybody here, you could literally drive your own tank. You could drive a tank, you could throw toxic waste out the top. You could shoot a bald eagle right in the head. Nah, there's plenty of them. Plenty of them. Dude, they're shitting all over my tank. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Look, people, I don't read, okay? Seriously, none of my shit is researched, you know? But out of all the bullshit I'm talking up here, I think I'm onto something with this, you know? It's like I'm eliminating people, but like no one has to die. That's it, just stop making... Dude, we're gonna end up like China. They got like over a billion people just, just jam-packed. Every day it's like the subway. If you just stand there, you can't even fall asleep. Like, oh shit, sorry about that. Just jam-packed. You never think about that shit? Just standing there, we're gonna be sitting there. First of all, how easy is it to get away with the crime over in China, you know? First of all, you pick somebody's pocket, you don't, you don't have to run away, you just fucking weave your way back into the crowd, just fucking stand over here. <laughs> Guy's standing like, dude, somebody just took my wallet! Dude, he's right over there! He's right over, he's right there! Dude, he's got black hair, he's five foot five, he's dressed like he's in Reservoir Dogs, he's right over there! No, that's where we're gonna be headed. How many more strip malls can you make? Places to get donuts and people to get their nails done. Everybody's all excited. This area is really, it's really exploding. It's really exploding. It's like, no, dude, people are fucking, and then they're just building more shit. I don't know.